Obviously, uh, the season as a whole maybe didn't end up as everyone had hoped in this locker room, but talking to a couple of guys, that, you know, Devontae, Deron, um, their thoughts on what needs to happen maybe this offseason to, to kind of get you guys to where you want to be next year. What, what do you feel like needs to maybe change in the offseason? Um, uh, I mean, I think we, we just all – we need to work on getting better um, individually, and then once we come together, uh, probably in the summer, is when we really can uh, work together and work on ourselves, I like, guess, a team as a whole. Um, but I mean, I mean, we can work on ourselves individually, but I mean, the coaches are really the ones that really handle what we're really going to be doing. So I mean, I probably imagine a lot of shooting, a lot of free throws, uh, and then we'll just go from there. The shooting thing obviously was an issue this year for the team, especially from the perimeter. Do you feel like that's something that can be developed with the guys that are here? Do you feel like that's something that where maybe they need to bring in another two, one or two guys that can that can hit shots? Uh, I definitely think it can be something that's developed here. Uh, is it just a is it just a matter of getting up 500 shots a day, a thousand? I mean, is it because it seemed like you guys got a lot of good looks this year? You know, there were certain times where you make a three game against Purdue, for example, you make one more shot, you win that game. Yeah. What? what I guess from your perspective, what was the reason that the, the shooting was not where it needed to be? Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, everybody, I mean, during the offseason, we're always shooting. Uh, we shoot about 600 or shots a workout. So, I mean, we're definitely working on it. I mean, maybe it was just a down year. I mean, I really can't really speak on it. But, um, I mean, it's definitely something that we can focus on. What, what do you want to get better at individually this offseason? Uh, everything. Any, I mean, I know everything, but I mean, like, everything. is there? I mean, like shooting, being more premier, perimeter oriented. Um, I mean, if they're going to have me you know, playing out on the perimeter as a four, playing more three, like, um, just being able to do a little bit more. Than right now. What can you learn from a guy like Jawan who play? It feels like sometimes you're playing out of position. He's played out of position. What? How, how do you? I, I guess fit into maybe a position that you're not as comfortable in. Is, is that something you have to embrace? Yeah. It's something that you have to embrace, uh, whether you like it or not. Um, and, you, know, you know, being part of a team of sacrifices. Uh, if you ask him, he'll tell you he's a point guard. What's that? If you ask him, he'll tell you he's a point guard. So he's, he's sacrificed that these past four years. But just being a part of a team, um, you just got to make sacrifices. You got to do what's asked of you, uh, whether you like it or not, for the betterment of the team. And if the coaches feel that that's the best place for you, sometimes you just got to accept that and just keep it pushing.